All right, so we had a little bit of a hot fix today. It's nothing super exciting. And in fact, I don't even see any mention of what changed in the newsfeed. So first of all, this screen is accurate because we did get new weekly quests. However, let me show you. For week six quests, most of these are pretty easy. In fact, I think you can do all of these in Team Rumble. If you guys need a challenge guide for these, let me know. But I could totally get these done in maybe two, three matches at most. The problem here is if we come to our battle pass and quest rewards, we can't do the next batch yet. These are for seven days from now. So the week six weekly quests are pretty much just for XP. However, if you haven't unlocked these three items yet, then of course they'll count towards this one. But most of you probably have these three already done. Now, speaking of quests, the data miners revealed that there was supposed to be a very, very funny quest this week for week six. So this was the quest right here. It says, spend five minutes touching grass. And then the description says, it's time to take a break. So I assume you just had to walk in grass for five minutes and then you would get the challenge done. So I was actually super excited for this. I was going to have a video planned and everything just for this challenge. But I woke up this morning and I don't see it. It's not there under week six quest. So of course I checked the data miners and they said it got disabled or scrapped. So unfortunately, there's no touching grass quest. I feel like we had a challenge like this before. Let me look at my videos real quick. Okay, so if you type in Tabor Hill touch grass on YouTube, the first video that pops up, or at least it should be, is from two years ago. And I titled it how to touch grass for XP in Fortnite because there was a quest where you had to hide in tall grass and there was only tall grass in certain spots on the map. So that was the closest to touching grass we've ever had in Fortnite. You literally had to hide in it. So I don't know why they scrapped this challenge, but they did. Now, like I said, the other part of the secret update today is that there's an unvaulted weapon, but I don't see it in the newsfeed. Unfortunately, it's not the best weapon we've ever had unvaulted. In fact, it's a pistol and it's the pistol from chapter four. So if you haven't guessed it by now, it's the lock on pistol. Remember that? Everyone thought it would be the most cheaty weapon we've ever had in Fortnite. It was pretty okay. It was nothing spectacular, but yeah, it does lock on and auto aim for you. So let's just hop into a match real quick and see if we can find it and see if it's worth using in chapter five. <gasps> there it is. Let's go. Oh man, I'm gonna have to drop my gold pistol for it. I wonder if you can modify this. Probably not. I forget how this works. Wait, why is there a blue circle? Is that normal? I guess we're finding out tonight. I feel like you had to hover over someone for a few seconds before it locked on. And then all those bullets that you locked on would hit automatically, right? I think. Let's go to Lavish Lair and see if we can modify it. I doubt you're going to be able to. Nobody's in here. Let's see if we can edit it. Nope, you can't mod it. Darn it. We got gunfire. Oh, it's a bot. Let's go. Perfect testing. Oh, yeah. So that you got to definitely lock on for a second. Takes a while. Huh. Yeah, I don't know how useful that's going to be. Unless, like I said, someone's camping in a bush. Because it did take quite a few seconds. Let's just shoot it normally. Let me see. Oh, yeah. They just go all crazy, though. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone just sniped it. Where's that coming from? Maybe we can third party this with our cheaty pistol. Oh, see, you got to be real close. It's a great third party tool though, for sure, because if two people are fighting, you can easily lock on and get a clean, I don't know, 60 damage or so. You basically have to catch someone unaware. Otherwise, it's risky business. Oh, there's someone in this bush, look at this. What, why am I going backwards? Why am I going backwards? Go forwards! I want to try the pistol on this. Wait, he's sniping. Let's see if it works. Okay, that was dangerous. Oh, 
Oh, he just got sniped by the good guy. Wait. That might be a bot. I think that is a bot. Oh, boy. Try it. No! Are you kidding me? Two health! Well, there you go. I think I could have easily won that match had I not swapped to the pistol at the end if I just kept out my shield. I mean, that guy didn't know what to do. It was game over. But I wanted to try to win with the pistol and it cost me the game. Are you kidding me? Well, there you go. The pistol is just okay. It's nothing to write home about, but it can help you in some third-party situations. If you get a clean line of shot, you're guaranteed some damage, which is good. But just in the typical battle, I wouldn't use it, and you can't upgrade it as I showed. So there you go. That's the only change in this hotfix, an unvaulted pistol from Chapter 4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is Tabor Time.